This video is all about balls. Big balls, small balls, pink diamond balls. I open multiple prize balls in this video, getting free tokens, MT, and even packs where we get some insane free pulls. I wanted to focus mainly on pink diamond and especially diamond prize balls, but this pink diamond prize ball had 10 grand MT in there, which was awesome. But the diamond ones are just more my cup of tea because you get free promo packs from any random season. Amethyst prize balls are okay, pretty much as low as I really want to go. 20 tokens is pretty good. A glow prize ball, I was pretty let down by this one because all I got was a diamond shoe pack, which is just not exciting. I tried tried the gold one to see if we could get lucky. It only had a couple tokens in it, definitely not worth it. But the pink diamond, you can get these on the auction house for about 12,000 MT. I didn't buy any pink diamond ones. I did buy a couple of diamond ones though because I just wanted more packs. The more packs for this, the better. We've got a Fiend Arms one right here. There are multiple dark matters that you can get from there. Here's another MSS prize wall. This one, again, a bit of a letdown, so I just sort of stayed away from them and focused on getting the diamond prize balls which are only about 5000 mt roughly here we have a glitch promo pack and the second last diamond prize ball this one was actually a letdown only getting a prize ball diamond three point shoe boost pack but the final one was pretty solid getting a stellar pack which had a chance at some pretty solid opals. We got other packs we're gonna be opening as well. In this video, not just what we got from prize packs, because I wanted to make this video much longer, but we got a stellar pack, glitched, phenoms, and glitched pack as well, plus a few other things. We're gonna start opening up the all-time packs first, but we got some good tokens. We got some good MT. Pink Diamond Prize Ball came in clutch with 10 bags. I'm happy as hell with that. But guys, go ahead, like this video right now, and subscribe to the channel. I'm always bringing you guys all sorts of different pack opening videos. So guys, make sure you have sub to the channel if you have not already. We get a diamond AD right there. By the time of me recording this video, Miami are playing the Celtics in game seven. And I think it's gonna be a Miami win. <laughs> You won't see this video till a day or two after that game, but at the time of me watching this video, it's the third quarter and Heat are up by 10. So I assume it's gonna be a Nuggets versus Miami Finals, which I'm all for it. I'm keen for that. I don't think it's a question. I mean, it's gonna be Nuggets that win it. Like I want Miami to win it just because that would be an eighth seed coming all the way to the finals and winning it against, and not just winning it against any old team. Ooh, good pull. Good pull, we get Mello. We're gonna be sending him to the auction. I don't even think I really need to bother Eboing him. I'm pretty sure he still sells for a decent amount, but 22 points, I can do that, no problems. But it would just be an amazing story if the Miami Heat and win against the Nuggets come from the eighth seed. That's just incredible. We're gonna open up the playoff packs we have right now, but guys, for all of your grinding needs, make sure you go and check out Rose NBA on Twitter. Their link is in the description. This pack right here though is a playoff pack which has a guaranteed pink diamond that evos to a Galaxy Opal minimum or it's just going to be a Galaxy Opal. We got uh, KCP on my grinding account. I got Aaron Gordon which was really good because the day after he ended up getting an evo to a Dark Matter which if you're watching the Nothing to Everything series which is banging by the way. You guys love that series and I am loving making it. You would already see me uh, evo that AG right here we have it is an amethyst but it evos i don't know what it evos to he evos once just to a pink diamond now we have these promo packs let's start it off yeah let's get a dark matter pull let's get a dark matter pull right here got the rash rush pack not a rash pack a rush pack sorry we want to see bill walton for sure but they're all, all these cards are pretty mid. And by the time you're watching this video, it's gonna be Jay Rich. Um, we would have already gotten the newer Rush uh, promo and those cards are even midder. It is mid as hell, but I mean, the packs are good to open if you're opening up those super packs, which I you would have already seen that video as well. I'm just pre-making a video and it's got me confused. Let's open up, let's go glitched. We got Ray Allen, let's go, we'll go this one. Glitched, give me Pink Diamond Hakeem. Not even gonna sell for a lot, I can only assume, 
but the best possible pull and it won't even shake because pinks don't shake anymore and a ruby it is someone from the promo i don't i don't think it's deluxe but when it comes to prize balls the best ones in my opinion from the way i like to play 2k is the diamond prize balls that's where the promo packs are pink diamond prize balls are really good because you get high mt and you get high tokens but when oh we do get a free diamond out of this one who's and it's auctionable kemble walker that's what's good is the packs you get from prize balls diamond prize balls is their standard they're not not auctionable which is so dope we're gonna go stellar right here a ben simmons still sells for like 80 60 to 80k i haven't checked his price in a little while but he sells not oh. shaking though we're gonna flip all and it's just gonna be an emerald card but yeah i'm trying to get them diamond uh, balls for sure let's go phenoms i have pulled a free dark matter from a phenoms pack before it was jimmer for debt not auctionable this time it is a pink oh i wish so badly that it was jonathan bender now we're gonna go with we'll go en fuego that was the first pack drop this is non-auctionable invincible Giannis and magic are in here so i'll take either of those would be great you gotta be freaking kidding me we just got a free dark matter from an Fuego. and pack odds are better i do forget that pack odds are much better but still that's a free dark matter that's awesome this is really only a good pull if we can get magic or Giannis. But even a Jonathan Isaac would be a good pull. So guys, like this video and subscribe to the channel right now for some free pack luck. Flip all right there. We've got a Limitless Range Doll Badge. That's giving me no hints. Let's just flip it. Show me an Invincible. Insane if it's an Invincible. It's not auctionable. James Harden, I'll take it. Forgot about James Harden. A free Dark Matter Harden. That's sick. That is actually, I mean, this could have been like Joe Johnson or something like that, but I will take a free Dark Matter James Harden. I want to see what he's worth. Even though I can't sell him, I'm just curious now. So this card is around 70,000 MT. So this is just as good as getting the Jonathan Isaac. We may not be able to sell him, but that is still such a sick pull. We're going to open up the non-auctionable splash zone pack now i mean i'll take another free dark matter hopefully show me a shake it is shaking it's gonna be opal this time i have a lot of these splash zone cards honestly so i have no idea who this could be but like a big body honestly it's a western small forward number one 97 is this michael porter jr dude this is playoffs thank oh it's non-auctionable that's okay though he surprisingly does not have a Evo yet because he's been playing unreal in this playoffs but in the finals hopefully we see him with a playoff Evo that's another really good pull honestly he probably has some value as well but again it is not auctionable hopefully we get some good pulls out of the auctionable packs as well we're gonna go back to Enfuego hopefully another dark free dark matter maybe or am I being greedy am I being greedy right now 2k it is shaking but it's gonna be an opal had me uh tricked there for a little bit free amethyst opal though who the hell are the opals in these I, I do not remember. Uh, Danny Green, that was. Now I remember. There's Danny Green. There's Joachim Noah. A um, few other players. Steve Francis is one. But we get Danny Green, who I think is the best one, but crazy cheap. Crazy cheap. Like 3.5k cheap. Last free pack right here, which is Splash Zone. There's three Invincibles in here. Let me get one. I'm not asking for all three. Just one. Well, it's going to be another opal in the middle. There's no opals that really sell, like. There's not one. This is going to be Morris, I think. Uh, there's not one that, like, stands out that sells for more than the others. So we'll take a Morris to end it. I already have him, but probably going to end up sending these cards, that card to the exchange. We're going to open up Splash Zone packs now until I get a Dark Matter pull, just because I want one more, because I'm greedy like that. I'm just greedy like that, and it's not that hard to get Dark Matter pulls. We get that Maxi, who isn't in the playoff anymore, but he had two Evos, so I might just do that. You know, there's plenty of things to grind on 2K. Duplicate, Opal, Tom Chambers. But we have got two Dark Matters. We pulled the Rush Dark Matter, but James Harden, definitely awesome free pull. Awesome. He is making the lineup. Sometimes I... That's the one thing. I don't know if I'm a fan of the non-auctionable cards or not still. Like, I kind of need that in my life because otherwise I just sell everything. So sometimes when I get a non-auctionable, it's kind of good because it's like, oh, well, I actually will use this. I'll use that card and I'll have fun with that card and probably win more games than I would win if I didn't have him. So sometimes I need a non-auctionable card just so I can actually use it and enjoy it. Let me get that dark. Did 2K hear me say I'm going to open packs until I get a dark matter? And then they just never give me a dark matter. We are shaking. It's going to be another opal. Honestly, I was pretty happy with that Michael Porter Jr. opal. I really hope to see him get a dark matter Evo. I can't see him not getting one. I mean, Nuggets are going to win it all, but still. Wait, what is it? Is it clay? Who will card? 
Dude, that's pretty cool as well. Playoffs, I feel these are more common. I don't know what it is. I mean, Clay doesn't have an Evo, unfortunately, but that's probably a solid uh, Opal still. I mean, it's Clay Thompson. He can shoot the three ball. I would love to get Steph Curry's playoff card. That's a good one, because that Evo is too a dark matter, and I think he's like over 100K. He's like one of, if not the most extensive Dark Matter playoff card in the game. But right here, we have that Dark Matter pull that we wanted. And this is gonna be the final pull of the video, guys. So guys, like right now and make sure you have subscribed to the channel. We got a Miami jersey, that has to be a good sign. Give me Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq has played for Miami. This has to be Shaq. Well, it's not, but I instantly know because of that knee brace, it's Sean Kemp. And if you're gonna pull a Dark Matter that is not an Invincible, Sean Kemp is the one you want. People say this card is better than Invincible Zion Williamson. So this card sells, I already have him. So I'm just gonna sell him. It sells for about 30 bags. That is going to conclude the prize ball pack opening video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. It's been witnessed.